Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about how to clean the Keurig coffee maker to get it back to functioning properly. So I started noticing um, the last couple weeks that my coffees are not getting all the way full to the top anymore. So even when I do the full cup, it's only going up about, about this far, right? So clearly um, my coffee maker is, is, it's got issues and it's not clean. And sometimes you get the scaling um, and that sort of thing in there from hard water or whatever water you're, you're using. You get that. Some, some of them have kind of a clean feature with it. Um, you can use that, but I also recommend doing what we're going to do here, which is every basically three to six months, kind of clean every, all the parts out, clean everything out really well, and that way it'll continue to function well for you and you'll get the best tasting coffee out of it as well. So that's really the goal of this. So the first step of this really is make sure the whole thing's unplugged because we're going to take some parts off and things like that. Last thing you want to do is have something plugged in when you're doing something like that. So really quick and easy step. The next thing you're going to do is make sure you have basically distilled white vinegar. Um, yes, Keurig does sell like a descaling solution for $13. You could buy that. White vinegar will do the same sort of thing. It'll help you descale it. And we're going to run some white vinegar through our, um, our system to make sure we get it clean. Um, another thing is just general soap. So uh, we're gonna use soap, we're gonna clean everything as much as we can for the removable parts. So that's really gonna be our step one of this. So let's start with that. So step one is we're really gonna start removing the parts that we can take out of this. And again, make sure it's unplugged. So this, this cup holder actually has two little pieces on each side. If you push them in, this piece just kind of comes right out. And you can see it's dirty. It's got like a buildup on it. And so we're gonna wanna clean that. So I just have a, thing that I can dump that into. And you'll see that you wanna get all in here and get that cleaned as well. You wanna clean the top, but you gotta be careful because there's a sharp piece in there. But we'll pull this tray out. We'll clean that in the sink as well because that's something easy to clean. We'll pull out our filter holder. We'll soak that in some hot water and uh, with some soap, we'll scrub that really well and, and good as well. I don't recommend actually getting soap in your filter if, that's, if, if you've replaced that recently, don't get soap in there because it'll be impossible to get out. You'll have to get a new one. But all these pieces in here, you can see there's buildup on them. You can see there's buildup around the numbers. Even with the reservoir itself, you can see there's buildup on it. So we're gonna try to scrub that clean with some soap and water, and then we're gonna run a bunch of uh, vinegar through it a bunch of times and see if we can get all the internal components clean as well. So step one, let's get this stuff soaking in some warm soapy water. One thing you gotta be careful of is there is a piece, of, like a sharp piece in the bottom here. Um, you wanna be very careful of that because that's what punctures your, your K-cup from the bottom. You have one that punctures from the top and kind of pushes, pushes the liquid through it. And then of course you have one in the bottom where the coffee then comes out. So anything you can do to really get some of that scaling off by hand, you're gonna to wanna to do, even though we're gonna put some vinegar through it and that'll help a ton. But you're going to want to get as much of that off as you can because it'll help with, you know, basically getting everything nice and cleaned out and that sort of thing. So, doing that really quick. And having a good towel around just to kind of wipe everything down. Make sure you get the scale off as much as you can from it. Try not to spill as much. Okay. Okay, since some of these unmovable, these parts that you can't remove, you're gonna have to try to get in there with a little bit of just paper towel or wet cloth or something like that, just to get as much of this out of here as you can, get it as clean as you possibly can. So some of these unmovable, these parts that you can't remove from it, you know, they, you know, it gets a little bit of coffee grinds in it. So you're gonna have to have some paper towel around or a nice washcloth that you can throw through some hot water through it just to get as much of that out of there as you possibly can. And you want to do it, you can see, look at all that. That's just from, it's just from like grinds and stuff like that that kind of got pushed out of the K-cup. And then you're going to want to see if you can get up in there a little bit. Like I said, make sure you're, you're very careful because it's sharp up there. 
But you can see there's, there's grinds and things like that that get stuck up there too. Just wipe as much of it down as you possibly can. I like to use paper towels just because it's easy, convenient, throw it away. Um, but if you like to use a washcloth for it, it's kind of a dealer's choice when it comes to that. So just get everything really wiped down well. As much as you can get off of it. There we go. And I always like to try to clean up the outside as well. Certainly doesn't hurt to make it look good, even though it doesn't have as much to do with the functionality of it, but you know, get as much of it cleaned up as you can while it's all unplugged. Okay, now that you have everything kind of cleaned up, we're gonna start just really quickly reassembling things. So, because that's the easy part. So the easy part's really getting everything clean from that you can kind of reach. But it's not really cleaning the inside components of your, your Keurig. So now we're gonna reassemble everything, snap all of our little pieces back in. You'll notice this is, you'll see that caution, there's sharp needles. You'll notice that that's gonna be the part that goes down. So you snap that thing back in, that's where your K-cup's gonna sit. So you have that. And then we really clean this out. If you haven't cleaned, if you don't clean this out often, it starts stinking and it gets really kind of cruddy. So clean that out really well. So then, Here's where we set the soap aside and uh, we start with vinegar. So distilled white vinegar, you're going to go half into your reservoir. So it's quite a bit of vinegar. There you go. It's about half. And then the rest is going to be with warm water. And again, you can use a descaling solution with this. You can, you know. If you want to do that, you can. And then basically, we're going to run, without putting any K-cups in it, we're going to plug it back in, and we're going to run this reservoir completely dry. So what that's going to do is it's going to suck in that half vinegar, half water mix, and it's going to keep sucking it in until we run it all the way through the system. And that white vinegar is going to help us descale the interior components of your Keurig. So plug it back in. Everything's put back together. We're going to close it without actually putting in anything um, anything inside of it. No K-cups, anything inside of it at all. And we're going to run this over and over again through the system until we actually empty this complete reservoir out. So as you can see, that's the first cup of hot water and vinegar going through it. And you can see how cloudy it is, right? It's got a little bit of a brown tinge to it because it's getting all that, you know, that lime and scale and extra coffee grinds and things of like that kind of cleared out of the system. So as you can see, that's hot vinegar and water cup too. And you can see there's a little bit of grinds in it yet, but you can see it's not near as cloudy. So we're starting to get all that nice and that stuff all cleared out of there. Okay, so we ran it till it got down to the very bottom where it needed additional water. So you want to then dump out uh, any of the remaining vinegar slash water out of the reservoir and I, I always, always try to rinse it really well um, but then what you're going to really want to do is you're going to really want to run the, the water through a full reservoir with just water through it to get any of that residual vinegar out of the system so I'm going to fill it back up and I'm going to run it back to you and uh, just empty the whole thing again to get that vinegar out of there make sure it gets out of all of your your system you don't want your coffee and vinegar uh, mixing together and having that wonderful flavor. But as you can see, it gets clearer every time you run a cup through it, it gets a little bit more clear because it's taking that scale and that lime out of the system as well as any additional like little bit of coffee grinds and things like that that you have in there. Okay, so after we cleaned all the exteriors with soap and water that we could, everything we pulled out, wiped everything down as, much, as best we could, uh, we ran through the half vinegar, half water solution. We emptied the entire um, reservoir um, so we just kept running it through not putting any K cups in it just running it through the system and then uh, we filled the reservoir one more time with just water to get the vinegar out of it ran it through and it is substantially cleaner and on top of that if you look there's still a few coffee grounds in it but if you look it's clear right and if you look look how, how full the coffee mug is it's almost at the top again right where I was getting about two-thirds of a cup of coffee every time because um, all the components were kind of clogged up. The other thing I would mention with this is 
when doing this is I would, I would actually get new filters for it. So the filters themselves are about two bucks a piece. You can buy them, Keurig brand filters for it. Uh, so two for four dollars. So I'll put a link in the description below for them. Um, buy them on Amazon. I'm sure you can buy them through Keurig as well, but buy them on Amazon. They're really easy. They come in a day. It's all prime, right? So, and then run it through. I would flip out and get the, the filter out of there and just get new filters for it. You're supposed to replace them um, fairly often as well anyway, and they're cheap to do. So if you want better tasting beverages, you want a full cup of coffee, um, all of those things, this is the way to kind of clean your Keurig without having to buy a bunch of additional supplies. The only thing you really need is new filters, which you should be doing anyway. Um, and it's done really pretty easily and quickly with just white vinegar, right? And scrubbing with Dawn some of the exterior components of that and rinsing those really well. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. That's how you clean a Keurig so you get better tasting beverages. You get, a, get rid of that lime and scale from all inside of your components and things like that. And uh, you get your best, best taste of tasting coffee.